Who says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. Pikeville Medical Center announced Friday around 130 positions have been cut at the hospital. The hospital's president and CEO, Donovan Blackburn, told EKB News the eliminations were due to overstaffing and PMC was experiencing a financial crisis. Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Jordan Gibson says while Pikeville Medical Center is still the largest employer in Pike County with over 3,000 people still working there, it will put somewhat of a financial burden on the region. You know, if you look at 130 people you know, working in our community, going to the store, buying groceries, you know, paying your rent, buying cars, going out and supporting all the local businesses in the community, just assuming that all those people were making minimum wage jobs and you know, working full time, that's at least a million and a half dollars gone out of the community right now. You know, some of those people may have been making more than that. I would really estimate closer to two, three, four million dollars. When contacted today, PMC CEO Donovan Blackburn said he understands the layoffs will have a negative effect, but the potential impact would have been worse if the hospital had not taken action now. Sheila Salyer was an x-ray technician at Pikeville Medical Center for 29 years. She was among those laid off from the hospital. She says the situation is very difficult for her and her family because after this month, her family will no longer have insurance and will be losing a huge chunk of their income. I'm 62, so I'm not eligible for a full Social Security retirement yet. So my income, if I take it, will have to be based on a reduced Social Security. Also, it means that I have no insurance as of July 1st. My husband has an illness and he takes several medications that probably will cost us probably around $1,000 a month. Those affected by the layoffs were given a two-week severance package and the opportunity to keep their insurance coverage throughout the month of June. In Pikeville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.